I expected to drop this show about like two episodes ago, but funny enough, this anime, and let's not get it twisted, I'm enjoying it. It's getting way better. The Lightning Blade Blondie, he's honestly making this show way more spicier. It's getting so fun. But it's crazy how this anime has outlived and is better performing than, let's say, Tower of God, Appraisal Isekai, Kimi no Maid Sama, and like many more. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, I had no expectations, but a lot of source material readers were kind of glazing and hyping it up. And I'm honestly seeing the hype. Let's begin today's reaction. All right, we're in the dungeon. This part, I don't care, right? Who actually gives a fuck about battling in a dungeon with these monsters that imposes no threats? No one cares about that, right? Get my blondie back in the frame. Ooh, what's going on, Arsena? I see you moving. The frames are moving. Dead ass. That's better animation than most animes this season. Okay, okay. She's strong as fuck. Yo, I swear to God, she needed our help like two episodes ago. Now she's just soloing everything. I thought you farted there for a second. What the fuck was that grumbling noise? Yo, that's not grumbling. She literally shit her pants there. She's just a bit hungry. Regarding the rescue, which is in fact a farewell. Huh. Who are we rescuing? Maybe Laos's party. Which is in fact a farewell. Maybe today's episode we saved the lightning blades during their quest against the Hydra. And we poach the girls. Which is in fact a farewell. That's my prediction. She basically has been catching up on her appetite over how many years she's joined the lightning blade party. She said that she's not hungry, but she has a huge appetite. Laos is just a cheap motherfucker that never fed her. Hydra lore. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> so even though the Hydra is so dangerous and scary, it's so common that the meta has developed to the point where even if it's dangerous, we know how to deal with it. La and he's not buying that shit. Yeah, it's not that hard to acquire, but that guy Margulis is something he doesn't buy. He's too cheap. Oh. あの薬は高いからそこはライラの下毒魔法に期待する。稲妻の剣の名は伊達じゃない。マルグルスは阿の隊長を整え、相手を侮ったりしなければ。He's <laughs> always underestimating his opponents though. Is he that good? Nah, it's fucking cap. They're going to get clapped again. 素早さと身軽さに関しては一流だ。サブリエ。ヒドラは首が多くて視界が広いけど。They've been also making a clear, uh, like, attention to the cutoff head. Like, oh, it's still not healed yet. I don't know why they're repeating it, but maybe that matters. Mm -hmm. Is it really the fact? Maybe we're underestimating him. I feel lizards coming up. Oh, here we go! Alright, and this time we have Sephiroth here. Sephiroth seems to know the new healer blonde girl too. There's something going on. Something about him role-playing as this thing. I'm not sure. They share like the same master maybe? Some sort of sensei senior? Wow. Okay. What was that? Whoa, 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 he didn't dodge that. He, it, it's weird, the Hydra, is it the camera work? He definitely didn't follow through though. He said, no, I'm not gonna finish it. 
Why, why, why? Why did he pull back? Oi, Shiku, nande? That was your own emotion, right? No. You got to be the one to take the credit. No, even if you kill it, he'll still take the credit. Don't worry about it. Wow. <laughs> this is also funny because of the voice actor, here, voice actor here, right? The Sephiroth guy. This voice actor, what I remember him is mostly through Manabu from Classroom of the Elite. And he's playing such a goofy role right now. It's just hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Anos, Manabu. <laughs> like... <laughs> Come on, man. Straightforward guy. Should we be impressed by his unga bunga strat of just running it down mid? Well, maybe she thinks there's some sort of charm to it, right? Wow, he's so manly, but she's probably thinking, what a fucking dumbass. I don't know, Zeke low-key just having fun watching Margulis try to slay the Hydra. Maybe Zeke wants Margulis to die? Nah, that'd be too much. He's not an evil person. I don't even know what the fuck he's doing here. No, he... What was his thing? He has like this, uh... Fantasy? He, he, he enjoys like carrying parties with hard quests. That was something like that was mentioned last episode, right? Oh. Let's go! Teamwork! <laughs> they aren't completely useless. What a backhanded compliment. Uh oh! Oh! <laughs> the lolly. <laughs> Why the lolly getting brutal like this actually looks like it hurts so much? <laughs> Damn! Sieg! <laughs> Yo, Zeke, do something! Oh, they didn't do shit! They let her just... I don't know, but based on, like, whatever this Maya's are looking poison shit, it's looking like she got fucked up there. <laughs> look, look, look! And then they off-screen? The heat just basically just fucked her up. <laughs> she got debuffed? Whoa, that's interesting lore. If you fear, it turns into energy for the monster. This is not poison or venom. Wait, wait, from the ground too? Is the ground spearing? Mana. Alright. Mana is usually in the labyrinth. Where is it coming from? Yeah, we can't beat this now. We gotta run. Oh, fuck. I bet the heads are gonna grow back. That's why they've been constantly showing the head hasn't healed, the head hasn't healed. I bet it's gonna get better. It's gonna get strong. There it is. We should run. We should get the fuck out of here right now while the boss cutscene's playing. Maybe Z can carry. Margulis, brother! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? You were struggling before. It just got way stronger. And your first instinct is, nah, I can do it. Nah, I'd win. Alright, show me, bro. Go do it. He really wants that title. Ooh, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing, bro. The sword's breaking now. What's he gonna do? He needs a new weapon! Zeke! Zeke! Laust, what the f- Wetlands? Wetlands? This is the wetlands? I didn't realize that it connects so easily, okay. <laughs> Laust, clutch! <laughs> <laughs> she just- She's just kicking the shit out of the high truck. Like, weapons, weapons, kick. <laughs> and, uh, he's better at fighting. <laughs> He can't heal for a shit. Let me take over? I thought he can't heal for a shit. <laughs> what kind of logic is that? Because you're a magic user, magic healing doesn't work on you. What? <laughs> wait, wait, go play that again? What kind of mechanic is this? 
He's a mage. High tolerance to magic. So magic healing doesn't work. <laughs> Yo, fuck being a mage in this show. What kind of what kind of handicap is that? Why are you being punished for being a mage? High tolerance for magic? And suddenly magic healing does Then 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 if I'm high tolerance for magic, I I guess then other mages can't attack me either, right? Like, other magic users cannot attack me? Because I'm a guy high taller? That's some bullshit. Because his heal is so basic and simple, there's, like, less magic. Therefore, it can heal the lolly. Are we, are we going that way? Multiple heals. It's gonna work! <laughs> But what if it wasn't a huge dose, but rather repetitive moments where you can only, like, rather than trying to do it all at once, it's like in different beats where each beat gives you a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more compared to the big dose where you couldn't absorb all at once due to the high tolerance of magic. <laughs> You know why he can't catch a cold? Because he's so stupid. There's a line, there's a literal joke where you're so stupid you can't even catch a cold. Yeah, well, you're seeing it now, lady. It's literally happening in front of you. Hey, it worked. I love how the Hydra is not doing anything. The Hydra is just fucking chilling. No, 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 no. We went to the back lines. Zeke is keeping the Hydra right now. <sighs> Zeke about a solo. It's calling for Laust? Oh, it's mad at Laust. Because Laust is the one that actually cut the Hydra's head off before, too. It's got a grudge. いいかい絶対来んだよ。約束します。君たちはここからはい。<笑> Because he's actually good. He got it from his master? Nah, 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 she'll be fine. No, did you really get one shot? Narsena, get back up. I know you can do it. Huh? Me. That's scary. This whole mutation mechanic, monsters, if they get more mana or magic, right? Then they mutate, they evolve. May Watch one of them start speaking. That's gonna be the scariest shit when a monster starts fucking talking. Alright, 1v1. Hmm? Oh, it's that guy again. It's the guy that was talking to the guild leader guy kind of the dudes that really hates laos and they say is the preparations complete yet and they're like we got to get laos out of here right there was like post credit scene where they're talking about how laos being in this place is like a hindrance for their plans <laughs> oh no laos got off screen <laughs> everyone's getting off screen what the fuck zig help us Damn, we really got off screen, bro. Wakey wakey. Ohio. I mean, fuck. We have a tiny ass dagger, though. Like, what the hell are we supposed to do with this tiny ass dagger? Yo, Z, give us the magic sword. Wow, I thought he really just showed up in clutch. He couldn't do it. Wait. Here it comes. He's coming. Oh, shit. Fucking chills, brother. The heartbeat.
It's not the boss that has second phase. We also have second phase. This aura. That which should have remained in slumber is Laos. They were worried about him. Not because of some petty shit of like him being a shitty adventurer perceived by the guild adventurers, but rather the power that lays dormant. What kind of power lays dormant? Why does he have this shit? That a horn? Is that a horn? What the fuck is an Oni? Why he's a monster? Oh, come on! Show me the hell! Oh, God, you got classic fucking JRPG fucking cut animations. <laughs> Alright, but he did it. He did it though. All heads at once. With a tiny ass dagger. I don't know how he's an Oni, but he is. Everyone getting off screen. Hello? <laughs> Finally bought the venom. Alright, <laughs> alright. All right. Alright. Happy ending. Your horn. Hello? Real recognizes real. Right? Master of the Mardat Labyrinth. Okay, we're kind of setting up for the next arc. There's like a big boss monster. Master of the Mardat Labyrinth. She just walks around and then uses his bait. What? <sighs> Come on, bro. You're really gonna do seek that dirty? Lyra, Armia, they put in so much effort to Narsena. Hello? Docking? Barely? Oh fuck, oh fuck you. Saberia is literally your trophy girl. Trash. Fucking trash. We gotta take these girls and get the fuck out of here. We gotta... Uh, we're gonna abandon, like, Poach, Armia, and Lyra, and we get the fuck out. Z can come too if he wants. That's so fucked. Like you, bro. You're literally collecting a heart. You picked her because she's a lolly type. I guarantee you. <laughs> Thank you, Narsena. You should have been a kick to the head, to be honest. Yeah, of course we hit you. You should kill him right now and hide the body. <laughs> the guild ain't gonna know if you die and I hide your body. <laughs> Straight up, I'd end him right now and say that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we cleared the... Uh, the I... I, I <laughs> I, I just murdered both fucking this guy Margaret and Siberia. Both of them will die. I'd hi and then I say casualties of war. Blame the Hydra. The Hydra was so strong. Oh, rest in peace. Uh huh. No. You deserve this shit, bro. Fuck you. Hit her too. <laughs> Smack her up too. Huh? Oh what? <laughs> So true. We, you literally said that out loud. You're gonna sell her off. Probably his dad. Officially sanctioned adventurer from the royal capital. What the fuck is a sanctioned adventurer? Basically, super important person that just walks around and solves problems himself, I guess. It's Zeke. <laughs> yeah, like there's a fucking difference in the name. My name is not Shig, it's Zeke. Brother, it's the same shit. You could have picked a better name. He's so proud of it too. He, he literally wore just like raccoon fucking glasses and changed like one letter of his name. Mm -hmm. Shig instead of Zeke, uh-huh. Mystery guy. What? I think he's just having fun. Well, he's doing investigation. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this straight up reminds me of level two cheat skill, chilling in another world. Remember the uh, the fake hero and his girl, bro? It's straight up these two. This is hilarious. I hope they continue. Like, like the worst thing, they can, they cannot. If they like put them in jail, I'll be so mad. I hope they get away. I hope these dudes continues to show up and causes problems and like make more content for us. Let him go. <laughs> Expel <laughs> labor for life. <laughs> <laughs> I low-key want them to get bailed out. Yeah, I was only attempted human traffic. What are you saying, lady? I, this is crazy. This is fucking crazy, bro. It's just attempted human trafficking. They're so stupid, bro. He's so stupid. I don't love it. Wait, Margulis? And Saveria? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Dude, usually I'd be like, no, no, they need the punishment! No, 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 you don't understand, you don't understand. You gotta let go of that, okay? They create the content, they're gonna do more dumb shit. More peak episodes like will happen because of those idiots. It will be great if they get bailed out. That's right, free Margulis! <laughs> He only attempted to do human trafficking. They're gonna need more chances in the future too, you know it. Oh, that's a Alright, they're banished. They're exiled. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at the way he's running. That's right, that's right. For sure, we'll be keeping a close eye on their career. Great, more content for us. Mordat mentioned again. No, thank you. It was great. Alright. No one going to mention the Oni horn though. Hello. ありがとう。なるせえな。はい。Alright. Hmm. Okay. Mardat specifically is under watch. But I bet it has to do with Laos's true like identity. And it's crazy that Zeke is not make making a comment about the Oni Horn. <laughs> No, join last. So, ね。一つ条件できることなら何でもしよう。だったらパーティーにはこの子も入れてくれない。どうしてみんなそれを聞くのかしら。簡単じゃない。放っておけない。He's always looking after the lolly. Join our party. Especially the only horn. He's the most suspicious. No話にしてはおけない。I'm not gonna lie, guys. Today's episode, this is going straight to the great tier on the tier list. Holy shit. Today's... Now, if the animation was better, if they actually showed us the cuts rather than, you know, these, like, off screens of, like, boom, you know, big flash of light and it's already cut, this should go into peak. If it just had that you photo level animation, this should go to peak, but, you know, we're working with, like, a limited budget. But still, it's very entertaining and things are still moving. Holy shit. So, <laughs> Lao stand. Narsena, they go to the wetlands after getting bored of the labyrinth and they see, you know, the lightning blade just in uh, desperate, uh, desperate situations. We learn a couple more mechanics about this world. If you are scared, then monsters can like turn that fear into like energy for them. And mana, which should exist in the depth of the labyrinth, somehow is being creeped up by the hydra. And then they can like take that and they mutate similar to how Magicules and Tensura will mutate other things and they can become more like sentient, like strong, intelligent monsters. I can't wait if there's actually opportunity for a monster to start talking, like become so sentient and smart and intelligent that they start talking. That'd be actually pretty scary. Zeke is just a corny, funny, <laughs> he's just basically a guild cop, right? He's from the royal side, but he thought that his nickname is Alias in his outfit, like it's somehow like 
hid his entire identity. It's like, bro, come on, bro. He's, he's, he's a little funny. He's definitely a little silly, a little funny. Lyra used to work with him, so Lyra's a very prominent adventurer. Army, I'm sure, is going like, to join us too. And that's pretty much it. Laust and Samaria has been exiled. I'm sure they're going to come back and give us more content. I hope they do. It'd be really sad if they were actually sent into labor because these two, no matter how much you hate them, they are the source of the content and just fantastic episode. That's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction though, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.